Hi there, in this tutorial we will be looking at the Unimproved Swift page builder as it relates to Cardinal. So the first thing you'll see here is I've got a blank page, uh, no content in classic mode. Um, if we check out the page you'll see that it's just got the title and no content. So the first thing we need to do to get going is to activate the Swift Page Builder and you do that by clicking this button here. And the first thing you'll see is the welcome message uh, telling you you don't have any content and explaining a few steps to get you going. Let's just go through the Swift Page Builder interface first. Elements, if you click this you'll have access to all 45 of the elements that are bundled in Cardinal. You can see there's loads of different things from portfolios to parallax, sliders, maps, all kinds of things that you can use to create interesting and exciting pages. Next section is layout. If you click this you'll see that we have the row element and of course all the predetermined columns that you can choose from. Pre-built pages is all the pages that we've created for you. Um, if you click on one of these, I'll show you now, it'll load all the elements in you need to make that particular page all ready to go for you. Let's just go ahead and clear that. Save templates. This is when you are working on a page and you have it just the way you want it. You can save it as a template so you can reuse it later. Saved Elements has a similar function. If you are creating an element you're very happy with and you have the settings just how you want it, you can save it so you can use it later. Clear All just removes all of the content in the page builder. And the full screen button, this is particularly useful if you're working on a small resolution or you feel you don't want any distractions, click this and you'll get the page builder in full screen view. All your elements are handily displayed on your left. You can also search for an element. You still have all the functions that you would do in normal view. And you can preview your page of course as well. But now we're going to go ahead and close that and work in the normal mode. So let's get started and uh, build a page. I'm going to start by adding a portfolio element. And once you've added an element, you'll see there are lots of different things you can do with it. The first one is to edit it. For this one, I'm going to choose a gallery style. And I'm going to go ahead and say no to full width. Uh, and let's have three columns. And let's have nine. This will give us three rows of three. No filter and no pagination. Save that. So here you can see you can save this element if we want to. So let's go ahead and save this as Portfolio 3 column. Now if I go into Saved Elements, you can see that it's stored it there for reuse later on. And that's what happens when you click on it. It'll load it in, but let's just delete that for now. This is the Edit button. This brings up all the functionality you can customize within the actual element. And then we have the clone button, click that just duplicates the element you're working on. And of course the delete button which removes it. On the left hand side you can see you can control the width of the page builder element. Three thirds, two thirds, half, all the way down to one sixth. But for this example we want it full. So let's go ahead and update that page. And let's see how that looks. So 
You can see our portfolio items are coming in. Uh, these are ones that I've preloaded ahead of time, which you will find makes a lot of difference when you're tweaking. It's much easier to see how things will look. Okay, let's go ahead and add some more elements. Let's have a divider. Let's edit that. I'm going to choose a standard divider. That'll do fine. And I want a top margin of 60 and a bottom margin of 60. So let's save that. Update the page. And let's add something else. We'll add clients. Let's go in and edit how this looks. I want this to be five columns. And I want it to be a carousel, so we'll keep that as it is. Let's update that. Let's see how it's looking. Our portfolio items, and then below we have our divider and we have our client carousel. Now it looks not quite as good because it doesn't have any widget title there, so it looks a little imbalanced. So let's go in back into this and edit this selected. Save that. Let's have a quick check, see if that's looking any better. Okay, much better. So we've got the title there, and that aligns nicely, so that's all looking great. Okay, let's add some more stuff. Let's add a text block. Text block is perhaps the most versatile of our elements. Um, one of the reasons for that is you still have access to all of the short codes within the text box within the page builder. You can see you have lots of different options here, all of them with various customizing options of their own. But for now, we're just going to keep this as normal text. I'm going to write a little about me. And then I'm going to dump in some dummy text just for this demo. I'm going to center all of this. I'm going to make this heading three. Down here you'll see the animation options and styling options for text blocks. I'm going to choose fade in for this text block. And you can set the delay as well if you wish to synchronize animations. For the padding options, I'm going to give this a little bit of vertical padding, say 4%. And then for horizontal, I'm going to go with the max 20% so that I don't have too long a line. Let's save that. Okay, and let's have a look how that is working out for us. Okay, you can see it fading in there. It's looking a little bit scrappy because it needs to be divided in between the client list. So let's go back into page builder mode and let's duplicate this divider. And we'll drag that down underneath. And let's quickly update that. Let's see how that's looking. Okay, so that's looking a lot better. You've got the client section being divided, and then you've got the text area divided too. But I think we need something more in there underneath. So let's add something. You'll notice that the menu, when you scroll, becomes sticky, so you never have to scroll up continuously to access all of your elements. So let's choose something else. Let's choose, and let's choose an image. Okay, let's add a 
with this image. And we'll turn the light box off. And let's have a little fade in animation on this as well. Let's update. Reload this page and see how it looks. Image fade, uh, text fade in, image fade in. Now you can see this is way too big. And the page builder is, because it's a full width page element, it is forcing it to go full width and the image isn't high enough resolution. So we need to go back into the page builder and I'm going to restrain the width of this image to 2118. This should make it exactly the size that I want it. Update. Reload. So now you can see that it's much crisper and that's the kind of size that we want. This is all looking good now. I think we'll just add one final thing. Duplicate this text block. Drag it beneath. And get rid of this content for now. I'm going to add a button. Lots of different options in your buttons as with it all of the other short codes. I'm going to keep it fairly simple for this. It's the standard size and accent with no icons. And for the button text, let's choose Gimped. Touch. I'm going to go ahead and center that too. It's consistent. We'll save that. And let's see how that looks. So the page is looking good now. Portfolio items fading in, client list, text, image and button fade in. This is looking pretty good now. I'm quite happy with this. It's all working well. Got your text, your image, and you've got your get in touch button. We've created a cardinal asset reference so you can see how all the page builder elements and short codes look. We've also got lots of portfolio and blog options. This is particularly useful if you want to check ahead of time how something might look. Check this. This is an example of a portfolio gallery four column full width with gutters. So that's currently set to the minimal design style. We can change that here. See how the bold design style changes everything. And then we can check the bright too. See how the hovers and the page titles change. 